What's up guys? Welcome back! It's Tamara, it's Wednesday, and today we're trying out this really cool new technique that I'm seeing over on Instagram. Masked creatures, characters, people. It's so cute. You make a little character like this, like a Hello Kitty, and then you make a mask and it sticks on their face like this. And it stays on, okay? So if you want to see the magic, you want to see how I do it, you should probably... Well, first, welcome. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. If all of this sounds good to you, then you should probably... <clears throat> grab a spooky drink. Grab a spooky snack. Get comfy. Because... We're gonna make some spooky shit. What's up guys? How was your weekend? Good, I hope. How's your week going so far? Also, Good, I hope. My weekend was pretty good. I don't think I did anything too exciting. Oh, we went and saw Smile 2. Little courier than I remember the first one being. I don't remember so much crazy, like, bloody grossness happening in the first one, but I very well just could have tuned that out because I don't like that stuff. I'm more of a ghost, a ghost gal, like a conjuring, creepy things like that. I'm not a saw, or I'm definitely not a terrifier girly. That is, I've just heard horrible things. I don't know why people like those movies and if you do then I am so sorry but ew, ew. I just picture it happening to me and it just grosses me out. So we used a very chunky glitter from Gentle Pink so I needed to, I mean I always put a matte top coat before nail art, we all know this. Any nail art that I do, 3D nail art, painting nail art, always matte top coat. It just makes things easier, makes things smoother, you know, makes it easier. So we did that. We covered up the glitter with the matte top coat and the matte, the glitter gel that we used was super, like the glitter is very chunky chunky on it. So it needed a little encapsulation. She was a chunky one. Very pretty though. That was the first time I'd used any of these from that gentle pink, that princess collection. I like it, very glittery. So with this design, the whole premise of it is that it's magnetic. That's the magic of it. So, you need a magnet inside of your head. We're making a Hello Kitty head. Duh. So, this was the easiest way I figured out how to do it. Instead of trying to like make a ball of clay and shove the magnet in it and then put it on the nail and cure it, I figured it would be easier to just glue the magnet, of course, with my Jim B Crazy Top Thick Gel. I stuck that on the nail cured the magnet down so it was just already there where I wanted the head and then I can just build the head on top of it. I figured that was like the easiest way to do it. I did attempt the other way first and it just, no. You could like see the magnet through the clay, it just was not good. So I just think this is the easiest. I also used two different sizes of magnets. I think I put them away. These ones are bigger and for the mask, you cannot fit this big of a magnet inside the mask that we're making because the mask is not gonna be like super thick. Otherwise, if you put a huge magnet in here, it's gonna like stick way off of her head. So the goal of this nail is to make a, don't mind my balding Hello Kitty. She looks like she has a receding hairline. Can you focus? Cause she's used to having a bow up there to hide her receding hairline. Like, is that why she wears the bow all the time? I don't know, or is it just mine? These are just my kitty. Anyway, so you have the kitty and then the mask goes bloop right on top and it magnetizes to her face and stays on. So this is the whole goal of this whole video, a magnetic mask. So cool for Halloween, such a cool touch to an already cool 3D nail, if I do say so. So we glued the magnet down. Now we are taking a blob of our fave Kumi clay. We're using the Kumi white. And we 
we're just gonna bloop right on top of that magnet and bloop, 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 bloop. Just tap away with your little gloved fingers. I don't care that this doesn't have hema, hema, whatever in it. I'm just gonna wear gloves with any clay, with any nail clay that I'm, any nail stuff that I'm touching with my hands. Just wear gloves, guys, just get used to it. And then it's a breeze. Like I literally used to hate wearing gloves with nail clay because a lot of them would stick to the gloves and it just made my job so much harder. Now I feel like most of the clay they've gotten kind of down and it shouldn't be sticky. There's still some out there, maybe like cheaper ones that are gonna be really sticky. But for the most part, most of the ones that I have, if not all of them don't, I don't have a problem with them getting sticky. So gloves, all of that to say, gloves, 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 gloves. Wrap it up, boys and girls, wrap it up. Wrap them up. So you just took a ball and bloop, you know the kumis, it just bloops out on its own. So you just have to like tap a little bit and then you have like a round blob. Perfect. Perfect for a kitty head. Now we're doing one of the difficult parts, always a difficult part for me. Why do I always have hairs in my face? It's to make kitty ears. They're just hard. I feel like everybody else makes kitty ears look so easy. They are difficult. It takes me forever. Obviously, I'm speeding up the process or we'd be here all day. But I always put, we do the snake method whenever you're making anything two or more of. We do the snake method. So you roll out a snake and then you cut that snake. Like here we want two ears. So I cut the snake in the middle and you have two equal parts. Instead of trying to like measure one ball and another ball, which is what I used to do. And I thought I was being so smart until a couple of you were like, why don't you try the snake method? <laughs> Duh. Just joking, you guys were not like that. Just helping me out, because you guys are so smart. So, I've been doing that ever since. Genius, genius. That you always have like the closest sized, whatever you are making, ears in this instance. Um, so you just gotta put the ears on, and then we just shape, 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 shape with a brush dipped in a little bit of alcohol and dabbed off on a paper towel. Shape, shape, shape. I am using the Crisania Sculpting Brush. I have three of them. They're amazing. I love them so much. I kind of got to clean mine up a little bit because I use them all the time. When I always use them when I'm sculpting. And I use alcohol to clean them. Can I freaking talk? I use alcohol to clean them. So of course the bristles get dry, yada, yada, yada. So they start sticking out a little bit. I gotta just kind of prune them up a little bit, but still my favorite. Me and those brushes were like this. Love them. So we're just shaping. We're just shaping, that's all we're doing. Do we have the perfect shape? And then we will cure her and then the head will be done. Like that. I like my kitty ears to be a little bit like rounded and then a point. Bloop. And it just takes a bit, just takes a bit of work, but we usually get there. So now we're gonna do her face. If you've been here, we've made Hello Kitty many times. So you might be a pro at this by now, or you might be new. If you're new, I'm gonna explain it to you. You always wanna start in the middle with the nose because the nose will be your guide for the eyes, for your peepers. So you just need to use a dotting tool and go bloop right in the middle don't pull out yet. Keep it in and just go bloop, bloop, up and down. No, sorry, don't do that. No, 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 no. The other way. You're gonna go bloop, bloop, sideways to get a little tiny oval in black. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the eyes. With the eyes, you will go a vertical. So now that you have your nose, you know where to put the eyes in, according, in accordance to the nose. So I always start with my right eye. I will do a dot and then I will up and down so you have a little oval and then I will put a dot where I want the left eye to go I will flip over and then go boop boop until you have an oval for the left eye I always end up putting my eyes and nose a little to the right every time and I never notice until I flip the head over and I see it from the other way and I realize everything's just squished over boop, a little bit what am I to do at that point? I just leave it. Cause honestly, it doesn't even, like I can tell a little bit, nobody else. I just always rat on myself. I won't rat on you, but I will rat on me all day. It is so annoying. I don't know why I have to say something, but 
What I should do is do the nose, flip over, make sure I have it in the middle, and then proceed. But do I ever? No. So now I'm just using one of Chrisanya's new brushes. Have you guys ordered anything from her new collection? She came out with a brush collection, which as you can tell, those bitches are thin. Thin with like six ends, they are so good. She also came out with a collection, I don't have it sitting here, a collection with D-Gel of their potted gels. Primary colors, black, white, and brown. And primary colors, blue, yellow, red. So we're gonna be playing with those pretty soon. Let me know if you guys have got them, what you think. I just got mine in the mail like two days ago. Okay, so I used that matte gel. It is not a matte top coat, but that matte gel from, it'll be linked in the info box. Um, I use that so that we can do the pigment on the cheeks and that stuff, that matte gel makes your nail art go on like, like you could use that and do uh, colored pencil art, like any of that stuff, and it is gonna show up. That stuff just, it gives almost like a satin layer that's slightly sticky, but matte. Like it's a very different product. It is not a top coat, like they say. It is not a top coat. It is a matte art gel. And boy, that shit is bomb. I love it. I use it all the time now. So I'm just using the Bonnie B pigment palette. I don't think it has a name. It's just their nail gradation palette in the pink shades. So I'm using that top color and the middle color. I just kind of go back and forth. And then I just use this random like Nails by Dev little floofy brush that I've had for freaking years that's destroyed. I just use any really small like roundish brush that you can like bloop bloop and make cheeks. Use that. So I just go back and forth. It's always too bright because of that matte gel. So then I go with the white and I just kind of like blend it out a little bit so it's not just like pink dot, you know? You gotta blend it out a little bit with the white. Now we are going to finish her nose. So I like to do the black first so that I can fill it in with a different color here, like the yellow. And then it looks like you outlined the yellow in a really skinny black line. Like you are just an artiste some might say. And you just know how to do like the skinniest little line work that anybody has ever seen in their whole life. But really, you cheated the system and you did the black first because you're so smart. That's us over here. Cheating the system, making people think we're better than we are. Cure that. Cure that beautiful little nose. And now we're going to do the same thing with the eyes. So I am still using the Crisania brush. I think this is the... Oh, I put them with the rest of the stuff. I got her six millimeter, nine millimeter, and 15, I believe. I will be showing you guys in a haul, but I think this is the six. Yeah, for sure it's six, the shorter of the bunch. Um, and we're just filling the eyes in with the white. And then it will look like you made beautiful white eyes and you outlined them in the skinniest little black that anybody's ever seen because you are just amazing. That's what it looks like. So now we gotta do her whiskers. So we're just using that same brush and look at how thin, look at how thin the whiskers are with this beautiful brush. I really, really, really like these brushes. Spoiler, they're very skinny. I just got these and I also have the new brushes from Sweetie Nail Supply that we'll be trying out that I had to open. I could not wait. I had to take a peek. Those also, dare I say, might be really good, but you're gonna have to wait and see. Maybe I hate them, maybe, maybe they suck. So you should wait and see in a video. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right guys, we're getting into the, the juicy parts. So this is when things start to get a little bit weird. We gotta use saran wrap. You're gonna wrap, <laughs> sadly, look at her. She's like, help me, I'm suffocating. We're suffocating this Hello Kitty, but we're gonna let her out. Just tell it's only for a little bit. I promise I'm gonna unwrap you. So just wrap her head in saran wrap, get it kind of tight and then push it around her head because we're gonna mold the mask so it fits her face, but we wanna be able to pop it off. We don't want it to like stick to her face because the mask is going to be removable, you know? So I'm using the Kumi in the bright cherry red. 
I don't think these have names. No, and this only comes as a set, I believe. Those, that new, this is from their new collection with like the reds and the blues and the greens. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. So we're using this like candy lap, candy lapple. <sighs> we're using the candy apple red color and we're just putting a blob, bloop, right down on her face on top of the saran wrap and then you're just gonna pat, 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 until it's just kind of like, you don't want it to go all the way around her face, just like a mask, just like sitting on top. So it kind of just stops like right at her chin, right at her cheeks and right at the top of her face. So it's just like bloop, just like that. Do not cure, do not cure. First, we're gonna do another snake we're gonna do another snake. We need to make two of something. So we need two equal parts. So we're gonna roll another snake and we're gonna cut her in two because we're gonna make devil horns. And Lord, when I tell you, this is also something that I feel like I see other people make that I'm like, dude, everybody else makes it look easy. Like how difficult can it be? But it is fucking difficult. <laughs> bro like oh my god I've tried to make devil horns before and I gave up and I haven't done it since that was like probably last Halloween if not maybe before that I honestly do not know so hard okay but first we are going to make her eye holes I actually made an entire mask and cured it and it was so cute and then I'm like you dumb motherfucker you didn't make any eye holes what kind of mask is that I had to throw it in the garbage and start over when I tell you, this nail design was testing me, but we made it guys. We made it, we pursued and we, we did it, we did it. But we gotta make her eye holes. So I'm just taking my dotting tool and I'm kind of having to just, not kind of, I'm having to guess where her little peepers are because I want the eye holes to match up with her real eyes. Cause you wanna be able to see her eyes through the eye holes, obviously, like what good would it be if it came out to like her whiskers or her nose, like no. So I did a good job, luckily. I blooped and I could see the eyes, so I just kind of like made it a little bit bigger, same with the other side. And then you just wanna keep everything in shape cause obviously it's not cured. So you just wanna keep everything, the whole mask in shape. So after you do the eyes, things are gonna be stretched out a little bit. Just use your brush, use your fingers, gloved, fingers and just tap 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 everything back into place now grab one of your snake halves and I kind of what I did was like pinch the tip a little bit to slightly make a devil horn so as you see I will roll it up a little bit and then I will like kind of pinch I'll do a little bit of the shaping first because it's just really hard to do when it's on because you're having to worry about like the mask isn't cured you don't want to get everything I like to not cure the mask or the head, whether I'm making ears or like here the mask and the devil horns. I don't like to cure like the main portion first before I put like either the ears or the horns, whatever it is on, because I like to be able to blend whatever it is, the ears or the horns. I like to be able to blend it all together. I feel like if you cure the main part and then you go to put like an ear or something on, then you're gonna see a seam. And I just don't, I just don't like that. So. This took way longer than what you're seeing here. I had to shape, 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 shape. I just used my brush dipped in alcohol, dabbed off on the paper towel, shape, shape, shape. I put my finger behind it to hold the horn still, shape, shape, shape. I used this little tool to kind of press, press, press. Just be patient, which is very hard for me to do, but just be patient. You will get it. You will get it eventually, even if you have to throw things away three or more times. You'll get it and it will be decent at least. Yours might be amazing, I don't know. Mine I think is decent, decent. I could keep practicing. I wanna make more of these designs for sure because I think they are so fun, so fun. I love doing like different things that I've never done before even though it is very difficult. Okay, so now we cured that 
Now we need to put a little nose on this. You can kind of just get creative. Obviously this whole thing, you can get creative and do whatever you want. But like the painting a face or anything on, I decided to make her nose. So I did the same thing with the black and then I'll paint the yellow on top of it. And then I wanted her to have just like a big, like almost kind of like creepy Cheshire cat almost smile. So I just painted that on there. I just started with, I think I am again using yeah, Chris Anya is probably the six millimeter brush. And I just started in the middle, right in like the middle of her nose and then went up and did one side, up and did the other. So I always just like to start in the middle because it just makes things easier. I tend to like, if I start from one side and go all the way over, then it just ends up like being lopsided and weird. So I like to start in the middle, bloop, bloop. Make a little smile, make a little creepy smile. So I'm just using black for that. I'm just using, like the black is just gonna be like the background of the smile. We're gonna add some teeth in there. Like I said, I feel like I could do this way better. But this was obviously, this is my first time doing this. I just wanted to get the design down. From here on out, like next time, I would probably make teeth out of clay and make the teeth like 3D and stuff. We could do so much more with this, but this is gonna be our starting point. We can refer back to this video and see where it all began with the magnetic masks or whatever. We could do all kinds of things with magnets. It like never occurred to me to put a magnet inside of a head and stick something else on top with a magnet so I can like remove it. I just think it's, you guys, everybody is so smart. Like the nail community, smart people. Smart folks, that's all I can say. You guys are genius, geniuses. So now we're painting the teeth. I'm literally just doing little triangle like cartoony teeth. And I'm not gonna fill the whole smile with teeth. I'll do one bigger one in the front, a few little ones on the bottom. And then like, yeah, just a few, just a few, like a handful throughout the smile. I was done at this point. <laughs> I have been here for a long time. I was tired. I needed to get up. I'm like, she don't need a whole mouthful of teeth. I don't have a whole mouthful of teeth. So I'm giving her a few. I'm giving her a few. I wish I had a whole mouthful of teeth, but D-R-U-G-S's are bad for your teeth. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe, but they are, they are. Mainly probably not going to the dentist in like 15 years is probably bad for your teeth. But we're working on it. I have to go to the dentist all the time. I hate it. Anyways, okay. Gold tooth. I'm giving her a gold tooth. We're using the Function of Vex fine print in gold. And I'm just going to do one front tooth in gold. See, this is what I probably would do in the future is like make her little teeth out of 3D clay and then put like my actual like little gold tooth gems on them. Like how cute would that be? I don't think I will ever make another devil mask. This, like I can't even stress to you enough how hard it was. <laughs> you can probably tell. You guys always gas me up and tell me it's amazing. You're dumb, whatever. You guys don't call me dumb, but <laughs> I know I'm, I'm way too hard on myself. I just can't help it. I can't help it. It is actually like hot in here today and it's cold outside. So I don't know, maybe it's warmer outside than I thought. I came in here in sweats and a hoodie and now I'm like, <gasps> I've got the freaking air on. Help me. Help me. You guys, I have so many, we're making a bow. We've done this a million times. If you are new here, you make two bloops. I did put Jin B Crazy Top Thick Gel where we're gonna put the bow because I didn't think the bow would stick strictly like to her, to the mask because it was cured. So I put, it made it more difficult to put the Jin B Crazy Top Thick Gel down and then sculpt the, oh, now I'm doing that. Then to sculpt the bow on top of it, things just kept sliding around a little bit, but we got it. We got it. So you just need to do the snake again. You're gonna cut the snake in two parts and then you're gonna have one little ball for the middle. So yeah, I'm just putting the Jimmy Crazy Top Thick Gel right there so that I can make the bow and then cure it and it will stay. Typically, I don't usually do that, but for some reason, 
in my head, I didn't think that the bow was gonna stick by itself when I actually think it would have, because that's usually what I do. Sometimes my brain does funny things, as you guys know. So, while we shape out this bow, I have so many video ideas, you guys, it's ridiculous. I feel like I could literally make a new video every single day, and trust me, I wish I could. I wish I had time every day to record a video, edit a video, get it up the next day, and we had videos every day. I could have videos for probably a year right now. I have so many ideas and so little time, but this is what I'm thinking. I'm still gonna make the Hello Kitty, the balls, my balls, my Hello Kitty balls that we opened, we need to make those. I know, I have not forgotten, don't worry. I've just been a little busy, but this is what I'm thinking. I have the Halloween balls, the mini-verse balls to open. I have four of those, and I'm pretty sure they're all different because the Halloween ones have like a special wrapper on them. And I think it says what is in the ball. And all of them are different. I think I have one duplicate, I think. But I know at least three of them are different according to the wrappers. So anyways, anyways, I was thinking Halloween's almost here, we need to open those balls. What if we open the Halloween balls and did like a mix mash with some of the Hello Kitty ones and did like a spooky Hello Kitty miniverse collab together? What if we did that? Two birds, one stone, would you guys wanna see that? Would that like ruin things? I feel like the miniverse community is kind of like strict on certain things. I don't want people like combining stuff. I don't give a, a flying book. I'm gonna combine them. I just wanna know what you guys think. Would you wanna see a Halloween Hello Kitty miniverse mashup? The collab of the century, as far as I'm concerned. Halloween Hello Kitty, we love that. You know I love that. So I was thinking, that's what I wanna do. I wanna unbox, unball the Halloween ones, I also have more Hello Kitty balls that we didn't open that are they're duplicates to what I have, but I was thinking I have four of each. So what if we just opened all of those and then I mixed up the ones that we open? Something like that. Let me know, you guys, let me know. Comment below, would that be interesting? We're not just gonna put them together. I have plans for them. Oh no, there's a hair in my, oh, I got it. Well, I have plans for them. We're gonna put them together, but we're gonna make them into something else that is useful that I think is gonna be so cool. So I really wanna do it, like I'm hoping I have time to do it this week. I have another call video I'm gonna be filming for probably Friday's video of just a smaller, like brand new nail drop haul. And then maybe we can get like a bonus video Saturday of the miniverse. I hope. Okay, now we're gonna top coat the mask with the Jim B Crazy Top Thick Gel and my fave Diami number 17 brush. I love this brush. I use it for all my top coating needs with the Jim B Crazy Top Gel. So we're just gonna paint over the mask and make her look all shiny. I almost took some black, either black pigment or like black gel, like a jelly black, and went inside of her eyes with it, but I didn't. I was scared of ruin, ruining things at this point because it had been a long day. I'm like, let's just leave it. Let's not do too much, you know? So now the back of the mask is not cured. And I did this on purpose. I was hoping the back of the mask would not cure because it is semi-thick. So I'm taking my little dotting tool and just scraping as much out as I can because we're gonna put one of these smaller little magnets inside. And what I did, and this is what I would recommend you do, is before you put the magnet in the mask, grab the magnet that you're gonna use and just throw it on the head, the Hello Kitty, whatever head that you make put it on the head and see where the magnet goes to because on my Hello Kitty, it wasn't going to the center because that's where I would have, I would have just automatically put the magnet in the center of the back of the mask. So I'm glad that I tested it first. I put the magnet on and the magnet kept moving right up to the top of her head. Focus. It kept moving, bloop, right up to her forehead. So I knew that if I wanted the mask to like stay on and not move weird on her face that I needed to adhere the magnet to the top middle of the back of the mask. I hope that makes sense. So that's where I put it. Instead of putting it right in the middle, I put it towards, towards the forehead because I knew that's where it would stick best. And I wanted to put the magnet right side up in the, that, so that is important. Make sure you put the magnet on the head first because if you put the magnet 
upside down on the mask, it's gonna repel from her head instead of go to it. So don't make that mistake. That would not be good. That would suck very bad. You'd have to pop it, hopefully pop it out of the mask. Hopefully it would come out. Um, so yeah, make sure, make sure you do that. Okay, now we're just doing something a little bit extra. We're gonna pierce the nail three times. So I'm just using this little like needle bit and just drilling right through. If you don't have one of these bits and you like to do piercings, get a needle bit. Do not use those stupid little things that come with nail piercings, those little drills. They suck so bad, so bad. These you can just run right through. And I always go to like the thickest part of the needle because otherwise I end up having to do it again because it's too skinny for the piercing. Womp, womp, womp. But yeah, I'm just piercing it three times. I just figured it'd be cute to add a little extra since the nail itself is kind of plain in my opinion. And then I'm just gonna pierce that. I pierce it off camera because honestly the piercings are really small and I was starting to get a little pissed because I couldn't get the damn ball on. I was trying to make sure I was in frame. I'm like, F it. They know how to screw in the little ball of the piercings. So I just did it off camera. Have you guys seen Smile 2 yet? Are you gonna see it? Is there any other movies coming out that you guys think are gonna be really good? I can't think of any, but I feel like this is a time of year where all the spooky stuff starts coming out and I swear if it's all shit this year, like it has been, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm so sick of it. How hard is it to make a good movie these days? A good scary movie. I feel like the last like really good, really scary movie, Conjuring is like the OG, original Conjuring is the one that always comes to mind. I love that movie. And that was one movie when I watched it, I was like terrified. Those movies really scare me. Like the really good like creepy like demonic like ghost ones has to be good though like the conjuring can't be like like the nun no 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 the last one was like okay they're just not like they're just nah the conjuring yes so i'm just really hoping that there's at least something good this year and not super gory like Okay, so I paint, I did the top coat with the Jinbi Crazy Top Thick Gel, of course, because she's shiny, she's non-wipe, she's thick, we love her, and I'm just making sure that those piercing holes, that they're still holes, because once you, obviously, I'm gonna, I just painted the top coat on top of them, it's gonna bloop, go right on top of the holes, so I always just use my tweezers that have seen better days, if you can't tell, and just go right through the hole again, just to make sure. And then I put those little grommets on the holes because it's my favorite. I feel like the piercing holes are not finished unless I do that. All right, guys. Hello Kitty. Definitely has a receding hairline, but <laughs> she's putting a mask on. What do we think? I think it turned out so cute. I feel like I definitely could do better, so we will be trying this again, but I think it's adorable. Will you try this design? Let me know. What do you think? I love you guys. Let me know. Let me know about the other videos, please. I love ya. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so I know, so you know when I post. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on Friday.